depends on how to hit pitch and feel properly in baseball. Uh, some of your baseball fans are probably know who Kubel, Derek Jeter, and uh, Randy Johnson are. Um, well, the reason why they're so good is because they use the right mechanics uh, for swinging or for ever pools. The correct way to uh, grip the bat is you're going to line up your knuckles, and that will give you control over the bat. And then probably the most important part is you want to be relaxed because if you're not relaxed, you're going to jump ahead of the pitch to and you're not going to hit the ball. Then uh, next thing you want to do is get your elbow up. That'll get you control. Then your feet. When the pitch comes, you're going to load back. That'll give you all your weight in your back foot. That'll give you some power. And you're going to get this little step. That'll give you more control. And then you're going to thrust your hip. That'll give you even more power. So all in speed, you're going to What I was always taught to do is, uh, when, ever since I was young, is when you're going to swing, you're going to squish the butt, you're pivoting your back foot. That'll give you that hip thrust, which is more power. Alright, the next thing is uh, the pitch. With Randy Jones, he can throw about 100 miles an hour, so obviously he's using the right mechanic. So, uh, for the windup, say this is my start right here, and you're going to obviously pick your pitch, and then you're going to step this way, and then when you bring your leg up, you want a 90 degree angle, and then your arm, your glove hand, is going to go with the leg, uh, what I was told is always pretend there's an imaginary string there, so you're going like this, and it's just attached, and then you go like this, you're going to aim for your target, after that you're going to thrust your arm into your hip, and then go over, you should be about like this, pushing off with this back foot. So that's the wind up. Then uh, you got the stretch, which is used for uh, picking off the base runners. So when you're like this, you don't want to turn your shoulder too much, or that's called the block, and then all the base runners advance. So you're going to go like this. If you're up like this, you're going to take a peek over if it's at first, and obviously you just look at third. 